Hello everyone and welcome back to Call of Cthulhu, Cyanide Studios 2018 love letter to the Cthulhu Mythos. We are entering Chapter 7, The Nameless Bookstore. The Shambler turned out to be much more than an artwork painted by Sarah Hawkins as a huge creature came out of the painting to attack Pierce. After a hard fight, the detective managed to send it back into the painting. He later discovered that the dagger he used to repel the creature had been sold to Sanders by a man named Algernon Drake, owner of the Nameless Bookstore. Pierce decides to pay the library a visit. Oh, that's never good. Where is the bookseller? Well, the amount of blood we saw says he's probably dead, let's be honest. So we're gonna look around a little bit first, actually. Oh, 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 oh. An old diary. Diary of the Pastor's Wife, Volume 4. I have missed so much of this diary. I am going to have to replay this game again. The pastor declared himself to be the prophet. He renounced God and worshipped a strange pagan entity with a monstrous appearance. His wife tried to reason with her husband, but in vain. He was convinced that he must listen to this voice in his head because it holds the truth. Hmm. More of those weird lamps. Probably using the oil from the miraculous catch. Is there like a whale oil? No, it's not. Oh, that's lovely. Love that. Oh, book. Book for me? Darkwater History by Harry Campbell, Volume 2. A Puritan colony led by Reverend John Wickwood settled on the island during the 17th century. They named the island Darkwater because of the dark shades of the sea. They believed it was because of the peculiar color of the rocks surrounding the island. They erected the first buildings, among which were the Hawkins Manor, the church, and the cemetery. The rare documents and handwritten notes they left spoke of nightmares and deviant behaviors. They disappeared at the beginning of the 18th century. Ah, that's how I hope I disappear, after deviant behaviors. Heck yeah! Increased our medicine. Even a few years back, it was possible for a single practitioner to know all the medical knowledge of his time. This book, which concludes the series, shows that this is now virtually impossible. About ten renowned doctors took part in putting together this collection. Heck yeah! Medicine progression! Oh my god, it's Sans Undertale. Handbook on Anatomy and Dissection As precise and illustrated with as much detail as the first volume, this book focuses on healing surgeries specific to malformations and motor disorders. How have I missed so much? I'm taking my time. Oh, I was probably in that stealth section. Goodness knows I am not the best at those. Okay, let's check in here first. Oh, yes. Oil! I don't think we needed that, but we have it all the same. Dark Water History, Volume 4 In the 19th century, as the American whaling industry reached its peak in the rest of the world, whales gradually disappeared from the waters surrounding dark water. This phenomenon appears even more mysterious because, up till then, the region was a favored refuge for cetaceans. In 1847, after months of pursuit, Scylla returns to port with a gigantic creature on board. Its crew asserts that the sea monster had eaten all the disappeared wells. After a night of ferocious combat, the survivors managed to drag the beast into the welling ship. Oh my god, guys, it's the Megalodon! Or a giant squid. Hmm. Really, we're not going to comment on the weirdly ornate cup? I mean, that seems like something I would comment on. 
Why does he have skulls? What kind of a bookstore just has skulls? You guys ever been to a bookstore that just has skulls laying around? Like just random hello skulls? Oh, please. Please be YouTube friendly. Whatever's up. What there. happened here? Oh, sweet. Spot hidden. I see you. Let's start over. Where did they break in from? Uh, here. Blood. Seems like amateur work. He's facing through the door. I don't think that's amateur work. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Over here. Someone tall left this footprint. A man, probably. Hmm. Ooh, a medicine skill check. This burglar seems to be rather clumsy. I don't know if that was us passing. I don't think we passed that skill check. I think we just drew an incorrect conclusion. Do we have anything else in here? Hmm. Don't think we can go in there, so over here it is. This is where the spot hidden was anyway. Um, but I guess it's not here in the reconstruction. YouTube. It's a painting. What happened that made the burglar flee before finishing his work? What sort of thief leaves his tools at the crime scene? What killed all these animals? Oops. What the... Charles Hawkins? Hey buddy, what's up? What sort of power did Sarah Hawkins' painting possess? Hey, that was the guy from the bar. Sarah Hawkins helped hide something in this safe. What if we didn't um, look at things that made us unhappy? Like, oh, ah, I eyeballs. Oh, I can't do eyeballs again. Okay. He's over here. Greg put in a great deal of effort to hide whatever is in here. Everything is linked to the Sarah Hawkins case. We're done. Oh, right. No, leave it. New clue memorized the burglary. Oh, okay, there's a spot hidden around here somewhere. I would I would like to have the spot hidden. What link did he find between Charles Hawkins and an old amulet? This key that bears the elder sign is the only one able to protect your psyche. It is in the form of a cylindrical medallion hanging at the end of a heavy chain. Hundreds of years ago, the star and the branch whose purpose is to push back the forces of the great old ones were engraved at its center. Everything points to it being Charles Hawkins that tore it from its last owner, an Egyptian antique dealer. In press cuttings that mention the misdemeanor, the date of the robbery coincides with the last of Hawkins' trips to Cairo. It remains to be seen whether he knows of the true purpose of the artifact. Try to find it. Is everyone on this island taking sleeping pills? I found these sleeping pills in the bookshop. Does a bookseller suffer from insomnia? I mean, wasn't like everyone and their dog kind of in World War I, dude? Shouldn't you just be assuming, like, every dude your age was probably in World War One, Somehow? Where's the spot hidden? Oh, it's book one. The least that can be said about this book is that its title is well conceived. The illustrations of human anatomy and dissection methods presented are illustrated in great detail. You have to have a strong heart or the detachment proper to doctors to consult its pages. Human body's great, dude. Everyone should study it. It's fantastic, and also you're stuck in a one. A strange amulet. I have a feeling I'd better not touch it. A strange amulet. The pendant is in the shape of a large dog. I don't know what it represents. I might find out more by searching the bookstore. Okay, I would touch it, though. He's so cute. Look at his little face. 
Drake left instructions on how to find the combination of his safe. A page seems to be hidden here. It is, it is possible to read. If somebody finds these memoirs, there will be no doubt that I am in serious trouble. My last and only hope is that my body and bones are still in this plane of reality in order that they will be recovered and burned. The funeral urn must be given to my dear mother if she is still of this world. The following message is of capital importance. Whoever reads these lines and demonstrates acuity as sharp as mine can hope to gain access to my most precious possession. It lies within my safe, and the clues to the combination are to be found in three cylinders, each hidden where life and study combine in the Greek world. Huh? Each cylinder is numbered, even if, as the celebrated author says, order is the pleasure of reason, but disorder is the delight of the imagination. Indeed, despite my preference for organized chaos, I must admit that reason usually prevails in the end. If by chance a person, or should I say a genius, oh my god was to match my intellect and find the combination of the safe, I would ask that they deliver its contents to the safekeeping of my friend and colleague, Professor Armitage of Miskatonic University. Hey, Armitage! The content of the safe is not only a vast digest of knowledge, but also a weapon that is far too dangerous for it to fall into wrong hands. I hope you'll be able to appreciate the danger that this represents and that you will act accordingly. In any event, I will neither be there to guide you nor to suffer from your actions. The suit's already... Okay. What does that even mean? Okay. Oh. Where did, what, what does that even mean? Oh. Arkham editions. Never heard of them. Oh! Okay. Cylinders that Drake tried to hide. I should perhaps listen to them. What does the Arkham editions have to do with anything? And these red drops, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our White Queen from their dark soldiers. I see our number dwindling, and my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. Dear friend, I thank you again for the anthology of the works of Arkham editions that you sent me. Uh, volume 9. Azathoth and other horrors seemed particularly relevant to my research. I never tire of browsing through them. Okay. So... Goblet. Hello, Goblet. The Chalice of Knowledge. The Goblet seems to be very ancient. It seems to be made of gold and decorated with real precious stones. Do the rubies and sapphires make a specific motif? Okay, so he said red, right? So... One... Two, three, four, five. Okay, so five. Five, five, five. The queen has little protection. Five, three? Because there's three white pieces left? So five, three. Five, three, five, three. Five, three, nine? Let's see here. Okay. Is that the Necronomicon? Read the weird book. You already have so many problems, my dude. Okay, 
Okay, that's cool. Right, 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 right. Oh. Yep, that was the Necronomicon. I got a uh, an achievement saying so. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me for today's adventure. It's a bit of a short episode, but hey, some chapters are going to be short like that. Remember to like the video if you like it, to dislike it if you disliked it, and to leave your thoughts in the comments below. So what exactly is Sarah's connection with the bookseller? We saw the bookseller, it looked like, he looked like that one guy from the bar that had all the tattoos that was kind of talking to himself. Remember that guy? Yeah, so it looked like him. Apparently, Sarah also knew him, as well as Sanders, and everyone else involved in the occult so far on this island, which is, uh, <laughs> not looking good for, uh, the Sarah is innocent theory, I think. I will see you all, hopefully, on Monday with another episode of Secret World Legends. Until then, have a good week. Bye.